Carolina on the ride. What's going on, Panther Nation? This is Bill Mack here with another edition of the Panther Prowl. As you see, there's no happy look on this face, of course, Panther fans, and I, along with a lot of you, know why. Our beloved Panthers, of course, fell short Thursday night football against the Philadelphia Eagles. Our Panthers lost 28-23, to uh, which it brings Philadelphia up to 5-1. and one. It drops our Panthers down to four and two. Now, there's just a lot to go into the game, and I'll just give you the breakdown of it uh, basis by basis as I like to do to give you the uh, information and stats of the game. Uh, Carson Wentz was 16 of 30 for 222 yards. He had three touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, Cam Newton, of course, had 28 uh, of 52, which I would say is a new career uh, for attempt and passes, uh, he had one touchdown and and of course three and one rushing touchdown and of course he had three ints. Two of them which weren't his fault, uh, as Trey Turner got manhandled into him and, uh, and causing him to uh, to mess up a throw in one. And another was a screen pass that was set up to Stewart and Stewart let it go through his hands and into the arms of a Philadelphia Eagle defender, which set both at times set up short fields for the Eagles to, to easily score in, uh, in their prospective drives. Now, our running backs, uh, running backs were uh, uh, Blount, Blount didn't do too bad. We didn't, we didn't have um, our rushing game, our defense, Carolina's defense, the uh, front seven, we didn't do as well with the rushing. Uh, Blount had 14 carries for 67 yards. Uh, Wentz had six carries for 25 yards. So we held them under 100, which is what we were, one of our things was kind of contained the run. Um, we see that uh, Newton, sad to say, when Newton is our lead rusher with 11 carries for 77 yards, 71 yards, and like I said, uh, he did get the one TD. Very sad, fan, Panther fans, and that was one of the things I stated that would be a key to the game is get that rushing game going. Our O line just got manhandled by the front four. All the, uh, of the of the Philadelphia Eagles, they only had to rush four all night long. Uh, Weeks did do a lot of, um, or well, he did a the defensive coordinator for Carolina did a lot of blitz last night. But all that Philadelphia had to really do was rush the front four. That's what they had. So our wide receivers are uh, Jeffrey for the Eagles. Uh, had four carries, uh, four receptions for 71 yards. Uh, Al Gore, um, Aguilar had four receptions, 55 yards, and a TD. And um, it, it, it says, East says, Eats, Eats, what, what, Ertz, well, that's his name, Ertz. Excuse me for that. Getting my words a little bit jumbled up here. Ertz, of course, had two catches for 18 yards and two TDs. So we see his was in the red zone to catch. Uh, for the Panther side, we had Kelvin Benjamin, of course, had nine catches, 99 yards. Uh, McCaffrey had 10 catches, 56 yards, and he caught his second career TD. And Funches had three catches for 36 yards. So he 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 he's starting to slowly blend into the fold. Not a whole lot of targets. Uh, as Benjamin in this game, we see there was a couple of passes that Dixon had that went off his uh, went off his hands. He had them, he just let it go through his hands. So a couple of missed opportunities there for them. Now our defense was led by uh, Thomas Davis had four tackles, two assists, and one sack. Uh, James Bradbury four tackles, two assists, one sack. Which Bradbury played a real a stellar game. He pretty much. Didn't give up any big plays to Jeffries or Al Gore, so I think he played a pretty good game on the end. Uh, Adams had three tackles uh, and a five assist. Peppers, of course, got another sack along with the tackle. Um, we see that uh, Shaq Thompson, which got used and abused all night long, uh, three tackles, four assists. Uh, it wasn't a good night for Shaq Thompson uh, at all. I mean, he just got, whether it was he played as, as the... Uh, 
you know, as, as, a, as a back or, or he was following along with either tight ends or wide receivers. He was just getting burnt last night. It just was not a good game for Shaq Thompson. Now, we head over to Philadelphia's defense, and Kendrick had 10 tackles, 5 assists. Uh, Bradman had 7 tackles, 3 assists. Uh, Mills had 3 tackles, 1 assist, 1 interception. Uh, Douglas, 2 tackles, an interception. And Robinson, 1 tackle, 2 assists, and 1 interception. So, as we see, not very much to pick out there. Here's some highs I give and lows for our Panthers. Cam did, and if you really call this a high, Cam did have his career high in passing attempts, and that was because of the non-existent rushing game outside of his rushing. I mean, folks, to tell you this, we had basically 13 carries for one yard. 13 carries, yes, for one yard. Their offense, their defensive line was basically in our backfield they had to take the handoffs as well. Uh, we could not rush the ball outside of Cam trying to score, trying to get first downs or trying to score. Uh, that's all we had, and that was the very thing we needed to do. We just failed in that. Our, it, I told you my keys to the matchup would be Carolina's offense against the defense of the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, they held up and then some by getting three interceptions on Cam. Our front of our for our front seven just was no match for for their offense. We just could not. We got three sacks, mind you, but we didn't really do as we weren't as really as effective as getting Wentz off of his off of his game. We tried blitzing throughout the whole night. I think we blitzed more than we've ever blitzed before in that game. Philadelphia just had it out for our Panthers on his. As I said. Uh, also, we see, like I said, Carolina's defense did get three sacks, uh, which Peppers, like I mentioned, did get one of those sacks. So Peppers is going right along. He's one of the league leaders in sacks. He's basically getting a sack a game. Uh, like I, and I mentioned earlier, Brad Berry played a really good game. He's starting to play him and Worley are, are doing pretty good in their second year. They're not giving up big plays. As long as they can wrap up and tackle, that's what they need to have done. Uh, St. Cam, of course, had 71 rushing yards and a TD. So those were the high spots uh, for our Panthers. Now, here are the low spots for our, our Panthers here. So Cam threw three interceptions. Like I said, two of those three were not his own. The third one, whether that was the wrong route, a, mis a misunderstanding, Cam threw an interception right to their player in the, in the, in the secondary. Um, we see, their, like I said, their O-line was problematic, couldn't. They gave up, like I said, they weren't able to muster a push. The O-line wasn't. 13 um, carries for one yard. Keekley, the one, and this is the highlight, is that Keekley goes out in the second quarter what looks like to be a possible concussion. He stayed out of the rest of the game due to concussion protocol, but from the way the hit where he was going low and the guy, when the guy put the hit on him, it looked like it got him. So whether he's in, whether he's got a concussion, it still remains. And of course, this is the next morning. Like I said, I apologize for getting this video out late. When I know when I work, sometimes it's tough to get these videos out right after. But I'm bringing it to you, of course, of uh, as soon as I get the very single chance to do it. Uh, like I said, below points, Trey uh, Trey Turner getting manhandled. He gave up half a sack. Uh, Shaq Thompson getting burnt. I mean, these their our defense just looked bad. Panther Nation. I mean, we we just looked terrible against Philadelphia. Um, you know, Philly's O line really, like I said, really defeated our front seven. There's just no way we were getting really a whole lot of pressure outside of blitzing. Wentz. Wentz was on his game. Wentz back to back three uh, three touchdown passing 300-yard uh, games like Cam just did, as we see now that he did. Now, like I said, Cam did get 239 yards passing, he and he went 28 for 52, so he went, um, he went well. It was over 50% in his completions, which that was way down. And, of course, when you have a non-existent running game, that tends to happen. So let's hope 
that are upcoming game, the Panthers will pick this up and bounce back. Of course they will, Panther Nation. They keep we hashtag keep pounding. That's just the way we roll with the black and blue. So let's just keep rolling along here, and I will bring you uh, my next video on the review uh, or the uh, of the preview for upcoming game for Week Seven. Of course, this is, I'm glad you folks could always join me. Our Panther fans, Panther Nation, we're number one. If you have any comments, as always, I'm starting to pick up views on the videos. Feel free to drop them in the description. If you got something to say about the Panthers, represent in the box. If you want to see something or whatever that you want to talk about with the Panthers or whatever, or questions, just drop them in the, description, in the comments. I will read them and get back to you and answer you as soon as I can. So until next time. Let's keep rolling along, Panther Nation. Let's keep pounding here. And this is Bill Mack here for the Panther Prowl said, keep it pounding.